Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of the almighty so today i am here from lavi ben jafistek and today i am here for class 5 english version students so dear students you know that primary scholarship exam 2022 is going to be held in 30 december this month so for this there are mainly four subjects math science bangla english and among them, today I am going to give you some suggestion about math. So let's start. So at first, we will go through some word problems. So here, here is the first word problem. 5 liters of water come into a water tank in a minute. But 2 liters of water go out of the tank per minute. How many liters of water will there be in a tank in 10 minutes time? So let's see the answer. In one minute, 5 liters of water come in. And in one minute, 2 liters of water come out. So, remains 3 liters of water. In one minute, there are 3 liters of water. So in 10 minutes, there are 3 into 10 liters of water is equal to 30 liters of water. Meena and Reena together have 7,532 taka. Meena has 560 taka more than Reena. How much money does Meena and Reena each has? Solution. The Reena's money is a half of 7,532 minus 560 taka. Suggest 7532 minus 560 divided by 2 is equal to 3486 taka. So Mina has 560 taka more than Rina. So this Mina has 3486 plus 560 is equal to 4046 taka. Rina 3486 taka, Mina 4046 taka. The sum of ages of a father and his daughter is 8 years. Father's age is 4 times the age of the daughter. What are their ages? So let's see the answer. Solution. From the figure above, the age of the daughter is 80 divided by 5 is equal to 16. And the father age is 16 into 4 is equal to 64. Daughter 16 years old. Father 64 years old. The price of two cows and three goats together is 45,080 taka. The price of one goat is 4,560 taka. What is the price of one cow? Here, the price of one goat is taka 4,560. The price of three goats is taka 4,560 into 3 is equal to taka 13,680. Again, the price of two cows and three goats is taka 45,080. The price of three goats is taka 13,680. Price of two cows is, is equal to taka 31,400. Price of one cow is taka 31,400 divided by 2. So, is equal to 15,700. So, the price of one cow is 15,700. Now let's go to the next question. Mr. Jalal's monthly salary is 8,765 taka. Every month he spends 3,225 taka on house rent and 4,850 taka on other items. And he saves the rest of the money in a bank. What will be his saving in 8 months? So Mr. Jalal spends total in a month is equal to taka 4850 plus 3225 is equal to taka 8075 again he saves in a month is equal to taka 8765 minus 8075 is equal to taka 690 so mr jaral savings in 8 months will be taka 690 into 8 is equal to taka for 5520. Our next question. Forida and Fatima's salary is 19,950 taka in total. At first, the salary of Forida is 
টাকা নাইনটিন থাউজেন্ড নাইন হান্ড্রেড ফিফটি মাইনাস টু থাউজেন্ড ফোর হান্ড্রেড ফিফটি ডিভাইডেড বাই টু ইজিকাল টু টাকা এইট থাউজেন্ড সেভেন হান্ড্রেড ফিফটি দেন দ্য স্যালারি অফ ফাতেমা ইস ইজিকাল টু টাকা ইলেভেন থাউজেন্ড টু নেক্সট কোয়েশ্চেন রাজু অ্যান্ড রনি হ্যাভ টু গেট দ্য সিক্স রনি হ্যাভ এইটি লেস দ্যান রাজু হাউ মেনি লিচিস টু রাজু অ্যান্ড রনি হ্যাভ সো লেস সি দ্য অ্যান্সার হে আর রনি হ্যাভ সিক্স হান্ড্রেড নাইনটি মাইনাস এইটি সিক্স ডিভাইডেড বাই টু লিচিস হাফ অফ দিস লিচিস অ্যান্ড মাইনাস ইজিকাল টু থ্রি হান্ড্রেড টু লিচিস দেন সো রাজু হ্যাভ থ্রি হান্ড্রেড টু প্লাস এইটি সিক্স লিচিস ইজিকাল টু থ্রি হান্ড্রেড এইটি এইট লিচিস সো নাও নেক্সট কোয়েশ্চেন ডিভাইজার ইজ সেভেন্টি এইট দ্য কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ ইন দ্য রিমাইন্ডার ইজ ওয়ান থার্ড অফ দ্য ডিভাইজার হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ডিভিডেন্ট সো হেয়ার দ্য রিমাইন্ডার ইজ ওয়ান থার্ড অফ দ্য ডিভাইজার দেন রিমাইন্ডার ইজ ইকাল টু সেভেন্টি এইট ডিভাইডেড বাই থ্রি দ্যাট ইজ টোয়েন্টি সিক্স সো দেন উই নো ডিভিডেন্ট ইজ ইকাল টু ডিভাইজার ইন্টু কোয়েশ্চেন প্লাস রিমাইন্ডার ইজ ইকাল টু সেভেন্টি এইট ইন্টু টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ প্লাস টোয়েন্টি সিক্স ইজ ইকাল টু ওয়ান থাউজেন্ড নাইন হান্ড্রেড সেভেন্টি সিক্স সো নাও লেটস গোস ফোর আওয়ার নেক্সট কোয়েশ্চেন দেয়ার আর টু বেলস ওয়ান অফ দেম মিনিটস অ্যান্ড দ্য আদার রিংস এভরি ফাইভ মিনিটস If the ring together at 3 p.m., what time will the ring together next time? So this is a LCM HCF question. So here first we have to find the multiples of 5. So here 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and up to 60. Then multiples of 12, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72. So here we can see the LCM is 60 because the, in both of them the least number common is 60 so the LCM of 5 and 12 is 60 then after one hour the bells will ring together so the next time they will ring together is 3 plus 1 p.m. is equal to 4 p.m. now let's go to our next question the teacher wants to divide 60 pencils and 36 notebooks equally to students without leaving any reminders. Find the maximum number of students to whom the teacher can distribute these items equally. So here, factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. And factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 16. So in both of them, the greatest common factor we can see is 12. So GCF or greatest common factor of 60 and 36 is 12. So in maximum 12 students, the items can be distributed equally. Now next question. Some streets and street lights are set along a street. Trees are planted every 25 meters while lights are set every 20 meters. If trees and street light is set together at the beginning of the street, in every how many meters will the streets and street lights are set together again? So here, the LCM of 25 and 20 will be the meters, the trees and lights will be together again. So we have to find the LCM. Then LCM of 25 and 20 is, here we have done prime factorization method, 25, 5 into 5 and 22 into 2 into 5. So here LCM is 2, 2 common and, and we have taken 2 fives that is 100. So after every 100 meters the trees and street lights are set together. Now our next question. One, six portion, 1 by 6 portion of a pole is in mud, one half portion is in water and the remaining portion is above water. The length of the portion above water is 2 meter. What is the length of the pole in water? So let's say this is a critical question, but this is very easy if you understand it. Here, above the water, if we think the whole pole is 1 meter, so here we have one portion, so 1 minus 1 by 6 plus 
by half my one then we get one by three then accordingly two measure is equal to one by three part so one part is equal to you have to divide two by one by half, three that is six meter so length of the pole in water is six into half that is three meter so the length of the pole in water is three meter now next question in a class of 75 students teacher distributes 0.24 meters of tape to each student how many meters of tape distributed so here one student got 0.24 meter of tape so 75 students got 0.24 into 75 meter of tape is equal to 18 meter of tape so the teacher distributed 18 meters of tape among the students so now our next question a regular land has the width of 4.75 meters and the length of 12.8 meters find the area of this land here length is equal to 12.8 meters width is equal to 4.75 meters we know area is equal to length into width is equal to unit square is equal to 12.8 into 4.75 meter square that is if we if we multiply 12.8 into 4.75 then we get 60.8 so then our next question the exam scores of Shohel and Hamida in Bangla, Mathematics, English, Science and Social Study are as follows. Calculate each average score and determine which student performed better in exam. So here is a chart and here is a mark sheet. It is in one row. There are the mar numbers marks given given to show in different subjects and in another row there are having the marks so here show here the bangla 68 hamida 72 math 95 hamida 78 english show 56 hamida 84 science show 90 hamida 80 bangladesh and global studies or social study show 65 hamida 86 so let's see here average number of show is 68 plus 95 plus 56 plus 90 plus 65 divided by 5 here there are five numbers and we have to so we have to divide this to all by 5 so there is 74.8 again average number of hamida is 72 plus 78 plus 84 plus 80 plus 86 divided by 5 as there are five subjects so 80 so 74.8 is smaller than 80 then hamida performed better in the exam now our next question hossein's monthly income is 2500 taka and he spends 1750 taka on food shamim's monthly income is 800 taka and he spends 1440 taka on food one Express the ratio of expense on food to the total income in person. 2. Who spends more portion on food? Number 1. The ratio of expense on food to the income of them is Hossein 1750 divided by 2500 into 100. That is 70%. And Shamim 1440 divided by 1800 into 100 is equal to 80%. Now, second question, from 1, Hossein spends 70% and Shamim spends 80% of the income. As 80 is greater than 70, Shamim spends more on food. So, here is the answer. Now, let's go to our next question. Some money borrowed from a bank with an annual interest of 15% and paid the annual interest 1,680 taka one year later. How much was the principal? Now we know principal is equal to annual interest into 100 divided by annual interest rate. So annual interest is equal to 1680 taka and annual interest rate is equal to 15 taka. So principal is equal to 1680 into 100 divided by 15 that is 11200 taka. Now next question. 
A book weighs 124 grams. How many kilograms will be if there are 80 books? So here is the answer. One book weighs 124 grams. So 80 books weigh 124 into 80 gram. That is 9920 gram. Is equal to 9920 divided by 1000 kg. So that is 9.92 kg. Now next question. A family used up a tank of 20 liter drinking water in 88 days. In average, how many deciliters of water did they use a day? Here in 8 days, 20 liters of water is used in one. So then in one day, 20 divided by 8 liters of water is used. So is equal to 2.5 liters of water. Now here it is said that we have to find the deciliters. So we take deciliter. We know 1 liter is equal to 10 deciliter. So 2.5 0 to 2.5 into 10 deciliters of water. That is 25 deciliters of water. Now our next question. A train left one city at 11.50 and arrived at the destination at 15.25. How many hours and minutes did it take? So accordingly, the train arrived at the destination at 15.25 and the train left the city at 11.50. So the difference is 3 hours 35 minutes. So it took 3 hours and 35 minutes to travel. So students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, then don't forget to like, comment, and also don't forget to share. And for new videos, must subscribe our channel. So that's all for today. Assalamualaikum.